What's going on guys? It's your boy John and Liquidator coming back with another video so it looked like WWE superstar Ric Flair just shared his thoughts about Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up the boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> So we're less than 24 hours away from Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes taking on the Oregon Ducks at Eugene. And it's been pretty quiet all day, man. It's been pretty quiet with the media, been quite pretty quiet with the team. I really haven't heard too much, really haven't seen anything online. We definitely look like the guys are focused and ready to go. But when it comes to WWE legend Ric Flair, he's never shied away from showing his appreciation towards Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. Because in a recent interview, he had this to say. It's being reported that. Like the rest of the world, Ric Flair has been tuned into what's happening in Boulder, Colorado. Deion Sanders, the rising college football world. After all, the two have a lot in common and ran in the same circles of life. They've been lots of time together in Atlanta when the city was growing at a rapid pace for different reasons in the early 90s. Sanders, a two-sport star with the Falcons and Braves, and Ric Flair shared time with the WCW during the Ted Turner days. So it only makes sense why Ric Flair is rooting for Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. When asked about this upcoming game with the Oregon Ducks, Ric Flair had this to say. I'm a huge fan of Jim Harbaugh, but Dion has done something special, Rick stated. Even with the injury to Travis Hunter, there's no way they lose to Oregon by three touchdowns. No way whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I think Colorado is going to win. Dion has a big following, and to have the most expensive ticket coming out of Boulder right now after going 1 and 11 last year, give me a break. Rick Flair stated, This is unprecedented. If they win these next two games, they'll be ranked top five in the country, and that is absolutely true. Now, he goes on to say this as well. What they don't understand is that an in state rivalry is always going to be tough. Now, he's talking about the game that took place last week. Now, we already know that game was a rough, rugged bloodbath. Not to say Colorado State wasn't great, but it's for the state, Flair stated. People are saying that Hunter doesn't make that big of a difference. It's like they're missing Randy Moss. I'm surprised Timmy Blackburn didn't get beat up with that hit happening on the Buffalo sideline. That's how much sports have changed. He would have gotten mobbed in the 80s. That was a really bad cheap shot. Now, guys, we already know. Shiloh said what he had to say about that. And we're just going to move past that, man. Get ready for Oregon. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this. Keep them bills on because, you know, I'm going to put it on blast. And until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. We ain't got tomorrow. We got now. We ain't got next. We got now. We ain't coming no more. Yeah.